Hi, and welcome to Text Nation TV. This week, it's pretty much all about Google and Kansas. Hi, and welcome to Text Nation TV. This is episode number seven, I think, by now, ish. But anyway, uh, my name is Rusty G, and I'm Alan. This is really a special episode. Let's call it that in case we got that number wrong. <laughs> Anyway, uh, let's let's talk about an episode that we did a long while back. We're gonna have a flashback. <laughs> yeah, it was episode number seven uh, that you're seeing there. That's right. Um, that we actually talked about this, um, and it was the year prior to that. So we're talking two years ago before we even started Text Nation. Yeah. Um, that Google came to this agreement and said, we want to find a city that we would like to bring internet to for free. Yeah, they sent a video out, hey, if your city wants to be a part of this, send us a letter. Right. And as you so eloquently said in that episode, mm -hmm. must have sent a large amount of money with that a letter. Letter with a check. <laughs> and apparently it seems that Kansas City got that, and that's what we were talking about in episode yep. number seven. They were selected. Of course, we were pretty harsh on it. You were pretty harsh on them. Well, that's fine. I'm from Missouri. I, I can speak bad of Kansas. Well, this is this is particularly Kansas City, Kansas. It will. Well, I can it speak will... bad of Kansas too, because their weather ends up in our state. <laughs> also, we don't have gigabit internet there. So. <laughs> okay, so yes, there's the announcement. Uh, like and I said, we coined Google City, Kansas. <laughs> Google has announced finally today and is spreading their fiber network throughout Kansas City, Kansas. Basically, if you live there, you can get not a 10 meg connection, not 100, not even 500, mm -mm. but a full gigabit fiber connection to your door. And this is symmetrical. Yes. For those of you not knowing what that means, that means a so you're not getting like what some of your Time Warner customers, Comcast customers, Verizon, even Pretty Verizon. much everybody <laughs> else except for the people in Kansas or in Chattanooga. Yeah, and well, even though I will say this, Chattanooga does have a cutoff at 300. I don't know about a one gig. Don't quote me on that. Uh, I'll have to look it up later. Oh, but 300. They're slumming it now, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. So basically, Chattanooga was the number one place in the entire United States, entire inside the 48 contiguous. Uh, it might have been the actual full 51 mm -hmm. uh, with Puerto Rico in, uh, included, but uh, I'm pretty sure they just got wiped off the map by Kansas. Yes. Yeah, so Kansas City, Kansas, and which will soon spread to their neighbor, Kansas City, Missouri, uh, is getting that full gigabit connection. And that is a hundred times faster than most of your home connections that you get now. That's... Three hundred <laughs> times more faster than my DSL that AT and T provided. AT and T back in the seventies, I think, started laying fiber cable because fiber was it. And Google takes two years, and they've got the city running. <laughs> AT and T's been at it for about thirty, <laughs> ten times as long. I, 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 it, I shouldn't get mad about this, but. I am. You know what's sad about this is? We actually watched the red, white, and blue cable get laid in our city. All the fiber, you know, yeah. going down because we were reading about it and we were asking all the time, what's all the red, white, and blue yeah. on the side of the highway? Come to find out it's AT&T laying down the U-verse fiber cable. U-verse. We <laughs> started on U-verse. <laughs> Which U-verse, for those of you that have AT&T and have that capability because he can't get it yet in his neighborhood either. Yeah, I can barely get DSL. <laughs> This guy here has to suffer through DSL, which is a pain in the you know rear because it's using the POTS system. So, or actually the POTS without the extra system. It's the POS system. <laughs> it's a special package that AT&T offers. What's your top out, by the way? Like 18 megs, something like that. It's not even that. What do you, you got? Like six meg connection? Yeah. yeah so it's not. It's, most of your homeowners, because they just need Facebook, email, blah, 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 whatever, they're not tech people like we are. Mm -hmm. You know, they're starting to become that, but on the sense of Netflix, Hulu, uh, Amazon Instant Video, insert any other video. Or just like a YouTube HD video. Yeah, the 1080p, 3D, 1080p, you know, the YouTube's obviously a huge thing. 
but you know, most everybody stays with that three to six. They usually don't go higher than ten. Here at my apartment, I have a uh, twenty-two connection, which costs me a lot more than what Google freaking fibers costing. Yeah. <sighs> anyway, um, so on that Google Fiber, uh, let me let me give you a few details before I give you the price. Get this. They also announced Google TV, uh, is it Google TV or Fiber TV or something like that? It's Google Fiber. Okay, Google Fiber TV, that's they got, what it is. You've got your own box, kind of like your own Comcast or Charter Box, whatever you have, you have yeah. a Google Fiber box. And it's just like your triple play services through any of the other, you know, telcos or uh, cable providers. Mm -hmm. um, they will, well, I should say double play because I don't think they include phone service, but I'm sure you can throw it in there somewhere. But basically, you can get that full gig connection up and down and fiber TV, full HD. I'm sure uh, there's not very many 1080p providers out there. Most of your ABC, oh, yeah, NBC, no. CBS are all 720, which is fine. Most people wouldn't even notice it until they go to Blu-ray. But, you know, you can get with their TV service, get this, you can get a DVR that holds 500 hours of storage in HD. 500 hours that's, uh, that's ridiculous I mean t even TiVo some of their series 4 and, and I think by this time uh, series 4 is even out of date I, I don't even know what the latest TiVo is I, I haven't kept up with TiVo in such a long time uh, I don't even think they got you know over like 80 or 100 hours no. this is like 500 Four hours points. yeah I mean this is ridiculous I mean uh, it's just so so ridiculous uh, they go on and talk about you know the speed and everything and here's 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 the price and this is where we're gonna tell you guys you can get just the internet service by itself sans the TV service just the internet connection seventy dollars a month for a gigabit up and down and how much is it in Chattanooga uh, the 300 uh, megabit fiber connection through EPB which was the fastest was about three hundred dollars a month which at that time when it was announced was respectable. You thought, well, okay, since I'm paying, you're paying almost 100 bucks for 22, uh, 300 for, well, but 300 for 300, 300 for 300. Right. You know, it didn't sound too bad. Right. And Verizon, Verizon FiOS has 300 uh, megabit connection with fiber. I don't know what the price yeah. is because they're not here in the southeast as much. This is like Walmart coming to downtown and shutting down <laughs> all the mom and pop shops. <laughs> <laughs> Except for it's not Walmart and it's a really good company, you know. Uh, I'm, I'm sure there's people with arguments against that. Oh, well, yeah. Here, Comcast, Charter, <laughs> Verizon, AT&T. <laughs> I, I, I take my note back. Verizon Fios charges $205 a month for their 300 meg connection. I was just reading my notes here. Okay. But the thing is, it's 300 down, 65 up. So it's not symmetrical. So it's, you know... 65 up, what are you uploading? You know, are you running your own server, your yeah. own streaming server? But let's, let's add that Google Fiber TV, 120 a month. So basically, you add on, you know, the extra 50 bucks, yeah. and you've got TV service. That is amazing. Uh, freaking amazing. Now, I don't know all the providers and the content creators, or I don't know what networks they're going to have behind that. I would assume all your History Channel, Nickelodeon, Com uh, Comedy Central, all the ones that just got shut down on oh, DirecTV. Everybody and with Viacom. <laughs> everybody with Viacom. Um, but, you know, that is, oh my goodness. And the coolest one is called Free Internet. I like this one. Tell, yeah, tell us about this one. This was pretty cool. One payment of $300, seven years free. And you can break that into increments of $25, whatever, a month. Yeah, the, the reason why the $300 is because they've got to get it to you, yeah, to that, your door, installation. Uh, I believe you have to have a, a box for yeah. their thing, just like everybody else has to, you know, Comcast has to their the box. Real, the real price with the other plans is $70 for internet, plus 300 for construction. Yeah. And 120 for internet TV plus construction, but Google's gonna waive that $300 construction fee. The, the thing I like about this is, because we're all going to these cloud-based uh, services, box.net, or just box now, uh, Dropbox, Google Drive, SkyDrive, insert any other, other Pogo plug, you know, just, yeah. it could go on and on for Sky, uh, Sky services, or cloud services, I'm sorry. And if you get the TV service, you get a Nexus tablet. <laughs> what? Anyway, anyway, he stepped all over my SkyDrive thing.
But anyway, you get not only all of the, the tablet as well for if you get the TV service, but you get a one terabyte of storage in the cloud. That's ridiculous. One terabyte of storage in the cloud. All your documents, you can just change your location of my documents to the Google Cloud because it doesn't matter. Yeah. You don't need it on your hard drive anymore. Kansas City, do you know what you had? <laughs> I'm feeling I feel grasp what they had. <laughs> You're in like China speed now. Well, can't... <laughs> this is the thing that gets me the free service, the $300 stuff that you pay for, isn't nothing to gawk at either because it's a five meg connection down and one meg up. So for those of you YouTubers and you know Netflix, that should be enough because I think it's like 700 megabits or 700 uh, kilobits down for a good HD You're stream. You're probably not going to be in Kansas City for seven years. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. So I mean, looking against some of these other places, uh, some of them that include packages with TV, uh, like Time Warner, for instance. If you want to go with their introductory pack package, is eighty dollars a month for a 50 meg connection, uh, but to add on a TV package, it's over $200 a month. And that used to, that was normal in our minds. Okay, yeah, it's gonna be over $200 to get, right. to speed this TV. Yeah. It, Not anymore. <laughs> pretty much done and over with is what we're saying. So the, the thing that gets me though is, they're literally shaking up the, the ground that all these telcos and all these cable providers. They need to. Because they've got us locked in their little price world and we've been trapped in that bubble because that's what we've not, expected. We're not going to stop talking on a phone. We're not going to stop watching TV. So we we got to pay it. You know, we're sheep. Just march into their tune. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, what I wanted to, we actually read a little bit uh, a couple tweets and things. Do you have that up? Yeah, I've got it up here. Yeah, go ahead and read this tweet for us. This, this was, this is a couple tweets we like. The first one is from at Austin Heap. I hope he doesn't mind if we throw it up there. I mean, it was on Twitter. I got fished recently, so someone had my Twitter account. I know someone <laughs> announced it on our last episode, but we'll let that go. He says, "SF," which he's talking to San Francisco. Let's move to the va Let's move the valley, Silicon Valley, to Kansas. What a poor idea to bring Google Fiber to the not center of high-tech innovation in the U.S. <laughs> and there just goes on other tweets here. I'm very impressed with Google Fiber. I wonder if I can convince my wife to let me move back to my place of birth. No. <laughs> if you were lucky enough to get out, they're not going to let you back in. Um, time to move to Kansas City. Uh, Google Fiber was announced in Kansas City. We need to move. He's not joking. <laughs> Google Fiber makes me want to move to KC and on and on and on. Yeah, even even my uh, co-host of my other show, he's not that into tech, but he's enough to be you know somewhat savvy. He was like, dude, uh, we need to go there. Because, <laughs> I mean, when you hear a full gigabit connection, you know, straight up and down torrents for highly plausible video sharing. Uh, I could share Text Nation via a torrent if I wanted to. Um, you could share, you know, massive amounts of data for businesses. It's going to become the new Pirate Bay. <laughs> <laughs> we, won't, we won't go that far, but it, here's, here's the funny thing is, just the day before this was announced, I was watching a Google Hangout that was by Google TV and Revision 3. They were both kind of hosting, and thanks for the invite, Revision 3. Greatly appreciate it. Watched it. Kind of got some comments though. Here, here's the thing. I showed you the video afterwards. Uh, Google TV, not the service, but Google TV, the box, has partnered with Sony for the second rendition of Google TV. Mm -hmm. They've got a new box. I think it has to do with this Google Fiber announcement. Um, the they... Google Fiber box looks a whole lot better, by the way. <laughs> but Sony has this new one, and it's smaller, and they have a new remote control for this thing. The box fine. It's small, shiny, it does what it needs to. has HDMI pass-through. Awesome. I can plug my Xbox in, one cable out, and I can have my Xbox run through the Google TV and then up to my TV and that's all that I need. Yeah. Awesome. All devices should have HDMI pass-through. Not all of them do, but that's fine. So, I go through and I show you the remote. What is your initial response on seeing the remote? It looked like a remote 
when I bought my first Sanyo tube TV. <laughs> it was big, black, big rubber buttons. The space with a track, uh, what is it? Touchpad. Track, touchpad. It just looked like they didn't put the rest of the buttons on the remote. <laughs> Everything now we've come to expect to look like this glass. Yeah. So, yeah, here's the thing. Uh, Google, if you're watching, we love you, but the remote for that Google TV and that Blu ray box that Garbage. you're building, not so good. Because on one side, you have, you know, half buttons and another quarter buttons for your Blu ray buttons, I guess. You have this touchpad, then you have like these, you know, up, down, left, right, select A, B buttons over here <laughs> on the side. And then in the middle is a touchpad, and they have a microphone so that you can go. I want pizza. <laughs> what if you need a QWERTY keyboard? But if you don't want to talk to your remote control, you can flip it over on the back and there's a full on, almost full size, 104 key keyboard on the back of this thing. I swear to you, it looks like the old Palm Trios when they first started getting that little half uh, pad on the back where you could touch the stylus. And you could write your notes, you know. It was like, this is a distraction while we lay the fiber cable. <laughs> kind of like the rocker when they were actually making oh, the iPhone. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Anyway. But so, yeah. And, you know, to watch that announcement and then hear the announcement today with Google Fiber, obviously they coincided. The teams were working yeah. as under one big Google umbrella. But, you know, um, uh, you might want to work on the remote. That's all I'm saying. You just might want to work on the remote. And you might want to work on the handwrite thing. Because, see, I write TV and it searches Target. Yeah, he was showing that to me earlier. It wasn't working, like he said. But if you do want to download the Gmail app, for those of you with an iPhone, I highly recommend if you have Gmail as an email service, which most of you should. And by now, if you don't have, go get one. Uh, but Gmail actually has a nice little button in the top that if you hit it and you write with your finger, it doesn't recognize it, but you can save it as like a JPEG or something. So if you want to sign something or yeah. if you want to draw something and send it to somebody, um, go that route. But yeah, so that was the big announcement for this week. That's pretty much all that we want to talk about. Like I said, reminiscing back to episode number seven, uh, Kansas City, you're going to have a lot of uh, people moving to your area. Yes. If you own property, get ready to be rich along with those oil people. Yeah, because uh, there's a lot of tech people will probably, I won't say move, but maybe a lot of have a lot of influence for people to come I think there's going to be a lot of relocating. Your business business should pick up. Yeah, at least for the tech side of things because, you know, who and doesn't there want There are a lot of geeks with a lot of money. <laughs> it could be the next Silicon Valley. It could be Silicon Valley too, you know. Yeah, so the first tornado wipes it all out. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> moving on. Uh, make sure you uh, follow us online. We've got a lot of different locations. Uh, uh, yeah. Facebook.com slash TV. You can add us there, like us there as a friend, or you can follow us on Twitter, Twitter.com slash TV. Pinners out there, pin us, Pinterest.com slash TV. And for those of you that are using Google, that's right, Google out there, you can add us to your circles. Please do. Alan has actually started using Google Plus and I'm proud of them. I've seen a few posts, I've seen a few things, you know, starting to use it, trying to get that cloud yeah, score up. Unless that gets fished. <laughs> but G plus dot to slash Textnation TV, you can find us there. And for all the video. All the video, youtube.com slash Textnation TV. And the great thing about that there is I have actually created a playlist. You can watch Text Nation in its entirety from one, actually from the zero zero episode all the way through till now, and I'd, I'd say skip one through five. <laughs> I'd say say skip the first ten, but uh, you you can watch all of them play straight through with the Text Nation text minutes involved. Yes. Or if you just want to watch the Text Nation text minutes by themselves in sixty second little you know blips, you can watch those. Look at the Text Nation TV text minutes playlist, and you can watch just those. And uh, again, I swear to you, I'm going to take a bomb to TextNation.tv at some point in time, blow it up, start all over again. I don't care about all the stuff that I built up there. I just want to erase it and start all over again. But you can follow us there, TextNation.tv. And myself only, if you want, RustyG on Twitter. And on TextAllen. Bring it on.
again for a second time because I want to see if he gets fished again because the message I got from you was I make six hundred dollars a day and you can too trust me if I made six hundred dollars a day uh, I'd be done with Twitter <laughs> I'm feeding my Maserati <laughs> somewhere and that's it for this week's not that good of a person <laughs> <laughs>